It is my pleasure to stand before members of the House of Representatives Press Corps to address you this morning. This briefing is coming after the announcement of the standing committees by the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, PhD. I want to say a big thank you to my speaker for finding me worthy to serve in this capacity as the chairman of the House Committee on HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria control. On behalf of my committee and my deputy, Honorable Issa Dunguyaru, we pledge to work assiduously with the House in line with the, the 10th House of Representative agenda in delivering dividend of democracy to our people. And by extension, collaborating with the present administration in the fight against HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. To this end, we are ready to hit the ground running from day one. In view of the enormous responsibility ahead of us, the House Committee on HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria control is not unmindful of the challenges being faced by Nigerians in the fight against this ailment, especially in the fight against the control of malaria in the country, which appear to defy solutions. The committee will work with the relevant stakeholders in the fight against malaria in ensuring that monies budgeted for are used for the purpose for which they are made. According to the World Health Organization, four African countries accounted for just over half of all malaria deaths worldwide. Nigeria topped this list with 31.3%, followed by the Democratic Republic of Congo with 12.6%, Tanzania 4.1%, and Niger Republic, 3.9%. I am aware that the WHO Global Technical Strategy for Malaria, 2016 to 2030, which was updated in 2021, provides a technical framework for all malaria endemic countries, including Nigeria. and country programs on malaria control as they work towards control and elimination of malaria. The technical strategy includes reducing malaria case incidents by at least 90% by 2030, reducing malaria mortality rates by at least 90% by 2030, Eliminating malaria in at least 35 countries by 2030. Preventing a resurgence of malaria in all countries that are malaria free. The prevalence of fake malaria drugs will be looked into to avoid further deaths recorded. We will carry out our oversight function to ascertain the role of primary health care in the Roll Back Malaria Program. Nigeria is a country in need of protection from malaria. Its death toll from the disease makes up nearly a third of the world's 619,000 malaria deaths a year. The immediate past Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Ehineru, was quoted during the 2023 World Malaria Day 
that an estimated 55 million cases of malaria with nearly 90,000 malaria deaths occur every year in Nigeria. He was also quoted to have said that economic burden of malaria in Nigeria is estimated to tune of $1.6 billion. In Naira is about 680 something billion Naira in 2022. And may increase to about $2.8 billion. In Naira, about $2 trillion in 2030. These statistics are scary and there is the need for urgent attention. That is why the committee will partner with the USID, WHO, UNEP, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the, Mil the Federal Ministry of Health, the Global Fund for Malaria Control, Society for Family Health, among other stakeholders in ensuring that malaria is eradicated in the country or reduced to the barest minimum. We will also ensure adequate implementation of legislation geared towards the eradication of malaria in the country. Where such legislations are not adequate, we will work to provide the needed amendment to such existing legislations for the general good of the Nigerian people. To this end, we will work with all ministries, departments, parastatas to also ascertain the level of awareness and sensitization created in Nigeria. Our scope will also include the National Orientation Agency, NAVDAC, NCDC, Ministry of Health, among others. In the area of HIV stroke AIDS, the WHO reports that the disease remains a major global public health issue, having claimed over 32.9 and 51.3 million lives so far with ongoing transmission in all countries globally. The WHO has also expressed concern that some countries are reporting increasing trends in new infections, which was previously on the decline globally. Nigeria is not left out of this trend. There is still no cure for HIV infection. However, with access to effective HIV prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and care, including for opportunistic infections, HIV infection has become a manageable chronic, chronic health condition, enabling people living with HIV to live long and healthy lives. The mandate of sensitizing the people falls on NACA which is one of the agencies we will oversight. We will work to strengthen the fight against HIV and AIDS in the country. We will ensure that the National Agency for the Control of AIDS is strengthened through legislation and funding to be in a better position to deliver on its mandate, while also ensuring accountability and probity. While Nigeria continues to fight the spread of HIV AIDS, we are worried with the level of awareness on the prevailing spread of the diseases, hence the need to work towards carrying out oversight functions on MDAs under the purview of the Ministry of Health, saddled with this responsibility as well as international partners, with a view to finding a lasting solution. We are also aware 
of the level of blood transfusion from mother to child and will be due diligence. The onus is on you and I to work towards achieving a Nigerian Sustainable Development Goal, SDG, which falls under good health and well-being. In November 2021, the World Health Organization reported that although Nigeria recorded a gain in its fight against TB, that is tuberculosis, in 2020, the country still ranks sixth among 30 tuberculosis high burden countries in the world and has the highest burden in Africa. The world today said the situation in Nigeria necessitates a continuous strategic intervention by the federal government. The WHO and partners to reduce the burden of diseases in the country by 2030. As such, as a committee, we will ensure adequate oversight of all agencies under our purview, while also strengthening the fight against tuberculosis in Nigeria. We will carry out a conscious campaign within our legislative function to ensure that all tuberculosis centers in the country are well funded to carry out their mandate. As the chairman has committee on HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria control, I am aware we need the media to achieve a giant step. We cannot achieve this lofty height without the media in reporting extensively rollout activities of malaria in Nigeria. Like we all know, the role of media cannot be overemphasized. Let me assure you that we are partners on this course and therefore solicit your support once again. I say a very big Thank you for this wonderful audience. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you. Thank you. I remain Honorable Amobi Godwin Oga, member representing the good people of Isukwato and Omunnochi Federal Constituency, Chairman House Committee on HIV, AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria Control. Thank you.